bad. I didn't even open it right. Oh, shit. In this video, I have a lot of the most nostalgic snacks from my childhood. I did miss a few of them, like sweet corn, chicharron, and a bunch of chocolate, a bunch of candy. But I literally went to like three different Asian stores and this is what I got. So with all of this, I'm going to do a little taste test or a mukbang. So I'm going to start with this Guyabano drink. I stole this from my sister and hopefully it's good. Disclaimer guys, turns out my whole life I never knew the difference between soursop and custard apple. I was thinking about custard apple the entire time, which is this fruit. Guyabano is also known as soursop or graviola, which is this one. So here's me sounding stupid, expecting a different taste. It's pretty good, but it's just not the same taste as the actual fruit, you know? Because I think the fruit, which is, I think it's called custard apple or soursop, it's more on the texture itself. That's just a fruit juice drink. So we're gonna start off with this, which is the chiz curl. <laughs> Cheese curls. And if you recognize this little boy right here, I think it's usually a little boy or a little girl, but if you recognize him, then you got a good childhood. Mmm. <laughs> Oh my god, first snack, and I already want to finish it, but I know I can't. These are like completely different from what's it called? The Cheeto Puffs? Clearly. I think the thing about Filipino snacks is they just taste a lot more different compared to American snacks, or maybe it's the MSG, I don't know. Look how tiny these are. They're like little shrimp. I don't think it's gonna focus, but okay. So good. I know these look like a lot, but there's actually more underneath it. Hold on. Um, We're gonna go with this one. Clover chips. Look how tiny. I normally don't get the shrimp flavor, but this is the only one that they had in the small packet. I wasn't gonna get the huge one, but I mean, I've never tried the shrimp flavor anyways. Okay. Ooh, it smells like, um, it literally just smells like the shrimp chips, the Asian shrimp chips. It probably tastes the same also. Mmm. 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 I don't know what to say. Because honestly, it just tastes like the regular shrimp chips, but in clover chip shape. You know? Not the oishi ones, but I'll put a picture on the screen. It's still pretty good though. Like, it still has a lot of flavor. Next one is the Nagaraya Cracker Nuts in Hot and Spicy. I think my favorite flavor for this one is going to be the original or the hot and spicy one. So like a hot and spicy. This is a really good um, eating while you're bored snack. And I know it's not just me, but when I was younger, I used to um, either spit out the peanuts. Because I think at that time, I didn't really like peanuts, but now I do. And just eat off the, the shell covering. I eat a whole pack and I wouldn't be sick of it. Next one, ding dong. These are ideal for um drinking. A lot of um Filipino uncles or just Filipinos in general eat this while they get lit. I'm gonna pour it out. Okay, I think yeah, I think that's all of it. So there's three different kinds in this bag. There's this boy bawang looking thing. Actually, there's four. And there's this pea looking thing. Mm hmm. And then Nagaraya. I think so. And then, what's this? I don't know. Mm, yeah, I don't know what that one is. It's, real, it's still good. When I was younger, I would pick these out, eat them separately, because I was never a big fan of eating it all together even though that's the whole point i like it way better um when you do it separately but i still dig this pillows these are really good i think there's a chocolate flavor also or maybe it's a different name I can open it. okay oh there you go this is the ube filled cracker and you can't go wrong with ube Oh, that smells so good. Oh my god. It's like the artificial ube. Mmm. 
I think recently the flavor that I tried when I went to the Asian store was the chocolate one. And it tastes like that cereal Crave, but a lot more chocolate. And if you like ube, I mean, you should, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> then this is pretty good. I also love, I also really love these um small packaging. Because the thing is, I think in the Philippines, they'll cost like 5 pesos or 10, which is way less than like 50 cents or a dollar. And it's pretty convenient rather than buying like a huge ass bag like this one. It's a really good to-go snack. And if all of these were in a small bag, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. But I only found like three. Leslie's Nacho. Nacho corn chips. There's this little boy or a man, I don't know, but he's bald and he's screaming. Oh, no, 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 he's trying to eat the chip. That's what he's doing. Bro. Oh. Why are they all like so tiny? I'm trying to look for one that actually looks like a triangle. They're either all broken or they're all like folded up. Yeah, no. Mm-hmm. It's still good. You'd think from the packaging that it'll be like Doritos, but it's really not. So, I feel like we've had plenty of chips. So we're gonna go straight to a fudgy bar. Fudgy bar? It's filled with caramel, and I wouldn't have gotten it because it's in such a big packaging, but it has caramel inside. And it was cheap. It smells good. It looks like a Twinkie. Okay. Mm, I don't see any caramel. I, I still don't see any caramel. Mm, either the sponge cake has soaked it all up, but there was a tiny bit that I saw. Oh, I see it. See that hole? I guess that's where they put it, but it clearly didn't distribute well enough into the budgie bar. It's good. It's good though. I'm pretty sure even the non-Filipinos will recognize this. These are also like pretty expensive. In comparison to all the other snacks, I think the bigger serving or the bigger package costs like five bucks. Oh yeah. Bro. Most of the snacks here are like chips and chips and crackers and all that stuff. That, that's a good change. To wash down all that bad stuff right now, I have this. I can't read it, but it's grass jelly. A grass jelly drink. There's other flavors like banana and coconut and lychee. But I remember only drinking the regular, regular flavor. And, oh god. Okay. Oh, that's so good. Oh my god. There's like um grass jelly chunks on the bottom also. But I can't get it right now. Mmm, mmm. Um, I'm gonna get this out of the way because I'm kind of sick of looking at it. Lala's are pretty good. They're just fish crackers. Bro. I mean, it smells like fish. <laughs> They're shaped like this. It's really good, but I'm just not in the mood for seafood flavor things right now. Next one, Piatos. This is one of my favorite snacks. They're like, um, how many sizes is this? One, two, three, four, six hexagon? And they're like super thin. Mmm. Oh yeah. I have this thing right here in front of me. It's the best coconut juice brand out there, I think. Okay, next. Um, these are potato fries. I think I remember them being pretty good. They're not as crispy compared to other potato fries, like the picnic ones. And they're pretty fat, so. Ooh, look at that. Mmm. Yeah, okay, if you can hear it, it probably sounds crispy, but they're really soft in the inside. Which is something that kind of makes it a little bit different. I enjoy it. It's, um, it says plain salted, 
And I think this is something that I could probably accidentally finish eating in two seconds. Okay, next one. Yan Yan. Yan Yan. I don't know. Okay. My favorite flavor is the chocolate flavor, which is why I got it. There's also strawberry and I think vanilla. Vanilla cream? Vanilla? It says animal game. Each one of these has an animal and then a cute little... Somebody's supposed to say the description and then you guess the animal. Mmm. Oh shoot, that means I gotta finish this. I can't close it. Oh well, it's okay. I remember what I would do. I take- oh shit, they're broken. Never mind. Oh man. Okay, so what I used to do was get the animal that I like and then eat that last. <laughs> Shoot, you can't see it. Maybe if I... Okay, so this one says duck and then quack quack. <laughs> I think I would always save this for last. I'm eating it now though. Hello panda. Nothing new. Can't go wrong with that. And it's chocolate. I think for me, I've never been a big chocolate fan. Like chocolate ice cream or chocolate flavored cake. But I've always liked chocolate crackers and all that stuff. Mmm. Bruh. Oh, shit. Next one, roller coasters. Mm. Bro, my sister loves these. And every single time we go to the Asian store, I always buy the Piatos, but my sister would always buy these. Mm. They're, um, potato rings. Does this look inappropriate? I don't know. Oh, y'all are gonna like this one. Pocky. Somebody told me when I was younger that you say it's pokey, but I think that's bullshit. I think it's pocky. I also like the chocolate ones. Mmm, a chocolate or um strawberry. Or if you want to get fancy, cookies and cream. I think when I was younger, I used to think the chocolate one was a little bit bitter, even though now that I taste it, it's really not. I think out of all the chocolate though, the chocolate from the Yan Yan, the Yan Yan is my favorite. And after all the crackers are gone and there's still chocolate left, what I would do is take my finger and then just eat that chocolate. Or put my tongue in there. <laughs> you naughty naughty. You teasing me. You naughty naughty. <laughs> okay, Moby. Moby caramel puffs. These are one of my ultimate favorites. There is also... A chocolate one but instead of being shaped like popcorn it'll be shaped like a poop so this is how they're shaped like you'd think it'll taste like those american caramel popcorn snacks but they're super soft super sweet also mm. it's so good The Oishi Crackers. These, iconic. Mmm, smells like fish. Okay. Oishi, best brand. Well, best brand for the shrimp crackers. The one shaped like this. If you've had the other one, I think it's not as flavored compared to this one. This one is really strong on the shrimp flavor and that's what I like. I think the other ones either, I think it's Korean or Japanese. I don't, th I mean Oishi is Japanese, but I don't know if it's a Japanese brand. <laughs> if you want shrimp crackers, get this one. Next one is Pop Keck. <laughs> Mini Pop Keck. <laughs> pop Cake. I don't have too many memories of this, but I do remember this snack. Mmm, pretty good. It tastes exactly like a Twinkie, so I feel like I already gained like five pounds just by eating that. Next one, Choco Chum filled with white chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. 
It smells way too sweet for me. I don't know. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. There's two kinds of these, and they're a pulveron. Um, this one is buko pandan flavor, and then this one is sweet melon. The OG pulveron, though, is the Goldilocks brand. Mmm! A little too sweet. Not gonna finish it, though, because it is a little bit too sweet for me. I like the melon flavor, though. Which is surprising because I normally like book one done. Next one, ube mochi. Yum. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. When I was younger, ube wasn't my favorite flavor. Nani? I would still eat it, but it wasn't my favorite. So I think even to this day, taro bubble tea, taro smoothies, they're not my favorite either. It looks like this. And instead of being filled with red bean, I think it's filled with more ube. Pretty good, pretty good. Whatever brand this is, I like this brand. Well, for mochi at least. Royal Family, is that what it's called? Or, I don't know. I know this one says mochi. Okay, next one is Prima Toast. Or Prima Toast. This isn't the original packaging for whatever I ate when I was younger. I don't know if it's the same brand. But, if you're Filipino, you know what packaging I'm talking about. Oh god, I didn't even open it right. Oh shit, look at this. <laughs> Oops, my bad. So, a part of me feels like it's the same brand, but a part of me also doesn't. I don't know. It's just, I remember it being a lot sweeter. It's the same texture and all. I don't know, maybe my taste buds are like disintegrating. But this is salted tamarind. Oh, I opened it. I love these. Oh my god. The ones I really like are the ones in the little clear boxes. But I couldn't find that there. They're probably the same thing anyways. It's like really salty. I got two boy bawangs. One of them is the lechon manok flavor and then this one is the chili cheese flavor. I was gonna try both but honestly I'm kind of sick of chips right now so I'm only gonna try the lechon flavor. And lechon manok means uh, like roasted chicken or something. I don't know. Like I know lechon means pig but manok means chicken but i'm pretty sure it's not pig chicken intellectual it tastes just as good as the original one okay there's this extra one that i got i don't know what it is but it's a melon flavored i don't know cream or something inside custard and it's covered with mochi mochi's good i only got it because I like melon, but I actually never had this before. <laughs> Look, it's shaped like a little pumpkin or, I don't know, squash. Cute. Okay. Oh, it's squishy. Oh, shoot. Mmm. The texture is kind of weird and it's a little bit more sweeter. I don't know. I feel like I was just eating gum So that should be all for the nostalgic Filipino foods and as an extra I got whatever the heck this thing is. It looks nasty, but it says boba Boba flavored nougat biscuit. So I mean I've had the boba um brown sugar boba ice cream bar before but this one just seems nasty my body anyways oh i like that dude look at that packaging it's so cute oh oh ew bro it smells like a garlic parmesan cracker but what the heck is that boba stuff that's fucking nasty i'm throwing that away 